What's going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. Critical Overlord here. We're going to be talking about Scream in this video here today. I guess we'll be saying Scream 7 uh, is pertaining to Matthew Lillard and his further context regarding the return of Stu Mocker that he gave when speaking with Bloody Disgusting. Because previously, I think he was speaking with Entertainment Weekly, giving a response about how he doesn't think it will happen. He doesn't think so, given everything that's going on right now with the IP, with the upcoming seventh film that has yet to be canceled. And then when speaking with Bloody Disgusting, he had a few different bits of words he was using to describe the stew return but he seems to be sticking to the i would say non-delusional routes and he's well aware of the fact that it just wouldn't make sense to do something like that if it doesn't make sense and he's gone over echoed the circumstances i've talked about it would take for stew's return to be acceptable this late in the game when speaking with bloody disgusting he said it really depends on how they did it it depends on the movie if it made sense I've said for a long time, Stu's not dead because I think that's fun. I think the fans love it. And I know that there have been countless Easter eggs in the last two movies that they've established a runaway to me coming back. But I'm going to be super candid. That's a movie I did 20 something odd years ago. I'm super excited to be in Five Nights at Freddy's and going forward. So it would really have, have to make sense. It would have to be interesting for me and it would have to serve the fan base. The idea of coming back in episode 10 on a franchise that has been around the block a bunch of times and coming back in a way that wasn't good, I'd rather just stick with the authentic first performance and let and let that live out its day. He's not wrong because he's addressing things that I've seen countless other fans address when considering, well, while I wouldn't necessarily be against the idea, how can you make it work because of how deep we are now in this process, such as the fact that one, People are going to immediately ask, how did Gail Weathers not know? People are going to ask, how did Dewey Riley not know? What was the circumstances surrounding how he managed to get away with this? And if it's some over elaborate scheme, people are going to uh, some people are going to say that's too much even for Scream. If this were Mission Impossible, because the stuff I've seen about how you can make it work. And I'm not saying that's not a way to make it work. It's just that that level of ways people want to make it work. That's some Mission Impossible type of stuff that I've that I've heard. I would not want to see something that elaborate now in the Scream universe. It becomes a very convoluted, very just over the top, even more over the top than I know the gripes people have with Scream 6 by bringing Stu Mocker back this late in the game. I don't think that those Easter eggs either were a hint at Stu being alive at all when the crew then say he's dead and then the recent film itself is saying he's dead as well. I don't see any door being left open for him to be alive. Matthew Lillard has his feet on the ground regarding the matter as well because 100% if it doesn't make sense, don't do it. If it makes sense, I wouldn't bat an eye at it if I'm sold on it. Problem is, it's too late to try to convince us of this and in a way that probably will not have a lot of problems. It's just a God honest truth. Scream 6, to me and to a lot of others, confirms Stumacher is dead, depending on how you interpret it. Granted, I wouldn't say this is very hard to follow. Mindy does have a moment where she says if you believe he's dead during her encounter with Kirby, because she's just simply acknowledging the theory that is popular in that world too, because we see on Richie's laptop in Scream 5, some people actually theorize that he is alive, which is similar to our own reality. That was nothing more than an Easter egg I would say acknowledging the fact that in our own reality, people theorize that Stu Mocker is alive. It was nothing more than a reference to Stuthers as far as I'm concerned. The kicker that confirmed he is dead was the Ghostface mass board scene with Kirby and Bailey. The sticky notes that I see in that sequence are being viewed as a question mark to if Stu is dead or alive. But if you pay attention carefully, what I noticed time and time again upon watching this movie the stickies are for where the mask are at for these remaining killers since the previous names mentioned have the bodega on their note one has the therapist's office i think that's roman one has jason and greg etc so the sticky notes were a way to jot down the location of the mask so that's why Stu had a question mark since his hadn't been found at the scene of a crime yet in fact if you pay attention to it he isn't the only one with a question mark because again the sticky notes have nothing to do with being dead or alive it's related to where is your mask at? We found all these other masks at these crime scenes. Where is Stu Mocker's mask? Where's Nancy Loomis's mask? Where's Mickey Altieri's mask? Uh, also, I'd say it does say that he died right below his picture. His picture, 
Billy's picture and I think the others have deaths underneath them. So that was their way of confirming he is dead, canically. However, <laughs> the argument that you see is that, well, nobody actually flat out said he was dead. And it's like, well, I don't know how many times they have to paint the picture for you. I don't know how many times they have to paint the picture that Stu Mocker is dead. If he ends up coming back to life in Scream 7, you know, again, the question becomes, if you make it make sense, I'm not going to bat an eye about it. I struggle to see how you're going to do it. I struggle to see how you're going to do it because I've said so many times it's not Stu Mocker being alive in theory that people are against. I would say maybe some I'm not I'm not going to discredit the fact that there obviously are some people that are just saying he shouldn't be alive at all. But what we're really against people like me, I would say, I think what I find myself strongly against is you doing it this late and thinking you can make it work because it's just going to raise so many questions about past movies, characters we know and have established as being these investigative journalists. And it's like, well, how did you not know about X, Y, Z? Were you paid off? what's going on there especially gail gail is the first person people are going to look towards like how did you not know ma'am <laughs> all these stuff all these things and all of these sprees and all of the ways she has been helpful how did this get past you unless of course somebody was paid off which again ties into some of the elaborate theories i've heard again i think those theories are suited for a series like mission impossible they're not suited for the screen franchise stumacher is dead I don't see him returning. There are a lot of clever ways I could see Stu Mocker becoming relevant again in the film franchise without making him alive, such as the fact of exploring the cult, exploring maybe Stu Mocker has inspired some people who have banded together. And maybe there's a group of people who are not necessarily the biggest fan of how Billy is portrayed and how Stu is kind of portrayed as this lesser than killer. Because notice, what do people say when they ask, who's the killer in Stab? They say Billy Loomis. Well, at least Tara did anyway. And of course, that's that's not completely true. Let me know what you guys think about this down in the comment section below. If you haven't already, of course, make sure you go ahead and subscribe. Turn on post notifications so that you never miss a video. In the description, I'll have links to all my social media accounts. I am on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. You can message me there, of course, to let me know if there are any movies, news, or reviews you would like me to cover in the future. And with all that in mind, guys, I will see you in the next video.